Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I have three looks, one palette with the Sour Blast eyeshadow palette from Bombshell Cosmetica. I've already done the first impressions on this palette. I'll link that there for you. <laughs> I'm really excited to share this with you. Um, I hope you enjoy. Here we go. A welcome to look number one with the Sour Blast eyeshadow palette. I feel like I didn't give this palette a good run through the first roll so I'm gonna give this the most love going straight in. That on my return I'm not feeling very creative at all so I'm gonna do a look that's inspired by Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner and try and do a few different shades in my inner corner and then cut crease it with Frosty which is that white and see what happens. So I'm gonna start off and put Bananas, which is our yellow, on the first part of my eye. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with Gummy. Ooh, it's attacking me. Which is our pink. And I'm just going to place this in the middle. Oh, and sorry, I did prime with my NARS eye primer in light. I haven't done my base because I... I was just in the mood to do my eyeshadow straight away. I'm gonna use this Jessup 223 and I'm gonna go into Melon up here and just put this on the outer skirts. And then using the same brush I'm gonna dip into Cavity. I feel like I just need to pack some more of Gummy which is our pink here it's just not very vibrant there we go this is one of my Jessa brushes it's amazing how pigmented it is on here and it's just not doing the bestest but that red is stunning and this pink this pink has it has potential there all right we're gonna cut the crease I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy in Custard this is not my shade. I think once upon a time I was very tan, a very long time ago, and it was my shade. Uh, whenever I've used concealer I haven't had any interesting wear tests, so I don't think I'll be back for this. Wear test, and uh, as you can see I didn't clean up behind me yet. It's on the cards, I'll do it. Right, and then oh, let's go into Frosty, see what happens when we go into that. That is our white, shimmer white shade. It's interesting. Uh, let me go finish the rest of my face and I'll be back to do under my eyes. Alright, so I need a bigger mirror to like get a good idea of what I'm really doing here. Because when I look in the viewfinder, this side looks a bit messy. Oh, I see. The silver is just more. See, now I can get it. So I'm going to get frosty just on my finger. And just try and bring that out a little bit more. I think that's about as even as I'm really going to get it. So we're going to go underneath my eyes and put using the Jessup 234 Lux Smoky Shader. I'm going to put the pink. I'm going to go in with Gummy under my eyes. And then I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs Glit All Right, which is a purple on my eyes, with my waterline. And then let's go in with a mascara. I've missed having all my choices. The It Superhero Mascara. So if you have watched my travel makeup video, you will know what I mean when I say I've missed. I've missed my mascara. Alright, this is done. 
let's bring you in so you can admire my handiwork. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, on to a look number, on to the next look. Ugh. All right, so on to look number two. All the products on my face at the moment will be listed down below. Um, I've got the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in Light on me eyes. Some of you had some lovely comments about doing purple and orange. Go in and we're gonna go into Melon first up. Oh, I'm really wishing this had a mirror. Alright, and then using the same brush, I'm going to go into Cavity, which is a bit of a deeper red. And just on the outer corner, sorry, I didn't even say. Let's put something on the eyes. I'm going to go in with Sweet, which is our purple. Let's hope it's as magical as the lime. Look at that pickup. And sorry, I, I didn't feel like doing a cut crease today. I'm hopeful this will pull through. Alright, it's coming up just like a tiny bit patchy. So I'm going to give it a spritz. beautiful shade. I am struggling to get it. There we go. I just didn't want to go on the bottom one. I'm just going to tap this a little bit and help that blend in. All right, I'm just going to go back in with this brush. Not putting anything on. I've just done something up here. I just want to blend out the top of that purple and then pack it back in. All right. Let's go into what about my morph on oh, my BH Cosmetics 105? Just a little packy pack. I was gonna put Frosty on the inner corner, which is our uh, white. Alright, and let's hope I can get rid of that fallout on this side without too much drama. <laughs> wow that really sticks um I don't I, I have to clean it off oh wow now I've got glitter left um all right I've got to go put my waterproof remover on this remove this and I'll redo it and then I'll be back all right I pretty much just had to redo my blush and I just put foundation on. I was a bit lazy. And it, it will look a bit different because it's still drying. So, you know. And let's go in with another BH Cosmetics brush and just a little packy pack. I'm going to put cavity underneath my eye. I like the red, it just, oh, that is overpowering sometimes. My eyes are going to be stained after this, I guarantee you. There's one shade. So Sugar Rush is a different formula in Shimmer. I don't know if you can tell, like, the difference. But I'm wondering what happens if I stamp it on the outer corner with my finger. Nothing. I'll just even it up and do the other side. Oh, I see. It's added some dimension. Alright, I'm just going to do mascara and I'll be back. Alright, I just put the Marc Jacobs highliner in Sunset on my waterline and I've got the NARS Climax mascara. Sorry, mascara. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just letting my, dry, my hair dry at the moment. I'll style that later. But look, I got a matching headband. 
Anyway, let's bring you in for a quick look so you can uh, see the look. Um, yeah, I just, I really enjoy the look to be honest. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, on to the next. Hello, good morning. Welcome to look number three. I hope you're excited. I'm feeling a bit more like myself with the hammer, but we're going to this. And I'm going to do something that I've seen Samantha Ravendell do a lot on her channel, and it's doing the V. So I've already put the MAC paint pot down, and let's go into rainbow. And I'm going to start, and what I want to do is just put the shade very carefully, exactly where I want in a V. All right, cool. And I'm gonna bring that to the other side. And I'm just using my eye as a guide and going directly up from that. And then bringing it over and bringing it in just halfway. And we even, we kind of even, let's just bring this one up a little bit. I'm going to go in with this brush, the Jessup 025, and I'm going to go into the light shade, so Bomb Bomb. This is the shade I used in my first impressions, and I just want to go back. And I'm just going to use this to blend this shade out. I was wondering where this would go. Alright, I mean, mm, not the best shade, is it? It still just remains a bit shit. And I'm going to tip back into Rainbow. Uh, purple and I'm gonna try and build this up sorry I just want to make sure this is like exactly what this purple is a bit patchy and now I've brought that one in a bit further than I wanted but I'll we'll just bring it all in all right I feel like that's fairly even so I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics in 104 and I'm going to go into the shade uh, Lollipop, which is this green. And I'm just going to bring this into here and sort of blend it into that purple a little bit. Alright, I feel like I don't want to go too far with the green. I really like where it's at at the moment. I'm a fan. Alright, let's go in I want to see Sweetheart which is this blue down here I'm going in with my Chikohoto GSN 09 and I just want to place this sort of here and into the middle corner and these blues are not very good all right that's a bit of fun now I'm just gonna use the same brush I'm gonna go into I'm going to spritz it and I'm going to go into lime which is this beautiful green here and my goal is I just want to place it sort of over here. I was thinking of doing a cut crease but as I got further into this this is what I wanted to do. not bad. I'm going to pull into my Morphe M4201. I'm going in with Frosty. And I'm going to place that on top of that blue because that blue was very bad. And then I feel like I feel like we can do it, but I feel like putting sweet, which is our purple, over here. I'm just gonna use the same brush as Frosty because purple is gonna override that sort of iridescent hue color that's going on. And I just want to dab this. Mm, this really needs to be wet. So it's wet now. I'm going back into sweet. Fun. 
I, I like it. Ha, I'm much happier with it. But I'm going to go back into rainbow, which is our purple. And try and fill in. I just want to sort of blend this a bit better. And then I'm going to go in with a clean blendy blend. And just bring that over the top of these. Just to bring that all together. And look at the glitter that's knocked out. Alright. I'm going to go finish my face. Put liner, mascara on. And come back and do under my eyes. See you soon. Alright. The base is on. So I'm going to put boots, a Colourpop liner in my waterline. And then we will do below the eyes. Alright. So below the eye. I feel like the... Mm, let's do something I see Annette do a lot. Actually, the yellow. What's the yellow? Alright, I'm going to go into bananas. I'm just going to use quite a few colours in this one. I'm going to use bananas and I'm going to go back to the top of my eye look. And I'm going to put the yellow just near that green. Alright, well, using the same brush, I'm going to go into... Uh, I'm going to do opposite. So I'm going to go into lollipop, which are green. And go underneath this eye. And I think I'm going to go into the MAC, which is another short shade of brush, 214. I'm going to rainbow, which is that purple. Oh, Alright, and I'm going to just use that brush. And I just want to see if I can help build this up a bit. It's just like already faded. Alright, it's working really well with this brush. Alright, we just need some mascara. Longcom Hypnose Doll Eyes. I, I killed my eyes off camera and I know my wings are a bit shit. Um, I think it's like my first attempt in two months. So be kind, please. Alright, I think I did it. Yes, I got a little bit of mascara there. How amazing is that pink eyeliner? Damn. Stir up the shadows. Alright, so let's wrap it up with some final thoughts on this palette. The Sour Blast eyeshadow palette. So this is a net weight of 24 grams. 12 eyeshadows, so there'd be 2 grams per shadow. A little bit more than normal, but it's not outrageous. You potentially could get through this. Uh, this palette did have a lot of fallout on pretty much all of the mattes. Especially those pressed glitter formulas which is frosty, lime, and sweet, but these do look stunning on the eyes. You do need to wet your brush to make them work, just I don't think the binding agent is very strong. There is this other one, Sugar Rush. I didn't give this one much attention. I did use it in my second look, and it is beautiful when you swatch it, but it really sort of shears out. I think it has potential, but it's more of the shimmer formula then it is a pressed glitter formula, so it doesn't have that bang that like I have on my eyes right now. Of the 12 shadows, I would say that four of these are pretty much kind of duds or not necessary. One of them being Melon. This is a red orange, and it just would have been better being a straight orange. Cavity is a beautiful deep red, which is a fantastic shade to have. But these two together look the same. So I would have loved it if this was more of an orange. Bomb Bomb and Sweetheart, these blues, just didn't work anywhere near as well as I hoped they would. And well, that shows my disappointment. Bananas, just isn't that good. And these are the lighter shades in the palette. So they're dark formula in the shadows and their glitter pressed formulas are really nice. And I definitely recommend trying them if those are the shades that really appeal to you. For me, I got this palette at, or well, 60, I got this palette at 60% off, so down from 50 US dollars to 20 US dollars. My shipping was 24 US dollars, so it was about 34 dollars. Um, it was a pre-order item, and I ordered on the 18th of November. It delivered, it was sent out three weeks later. There wasn't any updates anywhere I could see when it was going to be sent out on, like, Instagram or anything. 
and then it took two weeks to get here. My latest ColourPop order took one week, both from the US. So it's hard to know. Um, it came in a yellow envelope and was well packaged. It was protected. And really that's what matters when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. I am a bit sad it didn't come in the pretty Bombshell Cosmetica box, but you know, it is what it is. I did swatch this palette in my first impressions with this palette and you can really see um, Mickey Cohen with Bomb Bomb and how uh, ineffective of a shadow that is. It is a cruelty free palette as marked by below here. Does it say where it was built? And it comes in a sleeve. It doesn't say where it was made. Either. So the packaging is quite reminiscent of Blush Tribe packaging that I have just received but there's some differences in formula obviously. I still can't wait to play with this one. Um, you absolutely should subscribe if you want to see what I come up with using the Paulina palette. Anyway, this palette is beautiful. It does have a scent to it, which sometimes is overpowering, but most of the time is quite just pleasant. It just smells like candy a little bit. I don't think I am... Um, I do wish it had a mirror, especially being a bigger mirror. It could have a really nice mirror in here, but you end up just sort of... You can't bend it back. Well, no, you can. So you, you can only sort of bend it like this. So you can't really lay it flat and use it with a mirror. When it's out on your table, it's going to be pretty much like this somewhere. So having a mirror in that would have just been a big bonus. Especially if I had paid full price for this, I think I'd be pretty disappointed. Um, being 50 US dollars, or that's about 70 Australian dollars, people. I believe the sale is still going, so maybe it's an ongoing sale. So I think... For 20 US dollars, yeah, I'd pick this up for sure. I've still got to do another video with the O Hubba Hubba palette. So if you'd like to see that, please do make sure to subscribe. This is going to be a lovely, more muted, cool-toned looks. I'm hoping to do a three looks, one palette with this. Um, let me know if there's anything you're vibing from from this palette and you want to see. And yeah, I've had a lot of fun playing with this palette. And this has definitely been a palette that's kind of helped me get back into my vibes. So I definitely appreciate it for that. Uh, let me know if you're thinking of picking this up or what you think. What was your favourite look? Um, let me know what you would like to see with the Hubba palette. And yeah, just thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it. Uh, you mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Mwah.